Head coach Pat Fitzgerald, who is with us now here at Hutchison Field. Dave Bennett, Dan Persa, the Northwestern Spring Practice 2017. Coach Fitz beginning his 12th season at the home of the Wildcats. I, you're shaking your head. I'm shaking my head. You took over as the head coach in 2006 under the most tragic of circumstances following the sudden death of your mentor, Randy Walker. Here you are going into the 2017 season. You've got a couple of bowl wins, a number of bowl appearances, winning seasons, big wins. Had you, could you have envisioned it going the way it's gone for you? Well, first of all, I'm very thankful for our young man. I mean, you know, look at this guy next to me, right? I mean, think about all the games we won with him. It's, um, it's because of the great young men that we've had the privilege to coach. Been very fortunate. I mean, gosh, we've had our coaching staff together now for seven straight years. Uh, to have that type of continuity and consistency has been unbelievable. And then, you know, look here at Hutchinson Field. I mean, look at the progress. Look at the the future of where we're going. Uh, is so incredibly exciting and very thankful for the support of Morty Shapiro, our great president, obviously, our great board of trustees, and Bill Osborne in the leadership role, and then the best director of athletics and in, in football in the college athletics and Jim Phillips. So we're in a great place. Uh, we're no way, shape, or form satisfied, Dave, as you know, with where we're at with our on-the-field success, but uh, that's why you're going through spring ball and trying to get better. I asked you the other day to kind of sum it up in a word where you are, and you said momentum, and you pointed to the bowl win. You pointed to the new facility going up behind us. Uh, just give us kind of a feel for the vibe that you see within this program. Yeah, that's exactly what we talked about. I mean, there's just an amazing momentum, and, uh, you know, to... to play then finish the way we did and obviously we didn't start the way we wanted to but the, the last month and then into the bowl season against an outstanding football team in Pitt and the way we played and, and we faced a lot of in-game adversity but I think that was a really good snapshot I think of you know where we could go starting off the offseason Jay Hooten our strength coach and his staff did an absolutely terrific job we've gotten I mean I don't know how many hundreds of personal records in a weight room the guys came in in the spring ball in great shape and, and we just had to carry that momentum over and then a, kind of a fun icing on the cake was the hoops I mean, it was so fun to, to, to be a fan and support Chris and his guys and uh, to see the run that they had. So a lot of great momentum and uh, a lot of work to do. So that's exciting. Coach, what do you think the biggest difference with the uh, basketball team and the facilities? Has, how much has it affected recruiting? Well, it's huge for recruiting. I mean, I think, every first of all, every player wants to play for a winner. Uh, and, and they want to, you know, the guys that are attracted to us want to get the best degree in college football, play at the highest level, and compete for championships. And, you know, we've been knocking on the door. we just got to continue to add competitive depth, coach them better, get a little fairy dust and stay healthy, you know, and, and uh, make plays and put our guys in position to make plays to take that next step. And that's become a consistent contender to win the West. And I'm uh, tired of talking about it. You need to get it done. And, uh, you know, you, you, you have that type of attitude, that type of approach. I think our guys are very focused. In the hoops team, I mean, I, it was the last negative hurdle, right, of our athletic department, you could say. And, um, you know, the, the job that the young men did in the arena, uh, I was talking to Dave, you know, during the week. And, and, uh, it was so fun to me was to see all the guys that have been here before. And it just reminded me of the Rose Bowl team, of all the guys that played before me. And I'm sure you felt the same way about the guys that played before you. I mean, you stand upon their shoulders. And, uh, to have that type of uh, camaraderie and the chemistry to bring everyone together and to continue the momentum from football through the men's basketball season was awesome. And I think we're both just getting started. I mean, we're growing. We're, we're not the finished product here. And, you know, we're kind of like that new indoor over there. You know, we're about halfway done. We're, uh, yeah, I've been doing it for 12 years, but I think we're, we're now a consistent winner. Now we need to be a consistent champion. And that's, that's the things that we're working to improve to get to. One thing that people who watch you practice know, that you are not a guy who just stands on the sidelines idly watching your team. You get in there, you get in the middle of it during these drills. Well, I can't right now. I'm here with you. Well, yeah. we're going to let you go in a minute. I'm joking. I'm trying to get warmed up. Look at that stiff apotamus right there. I mean, I, I, it's a neck roll generation guy trying to get warmed up. He's looking good. Looking good. Yeah, well, Mike Terry, our great orthopedic surgeon, was uh, very adamant to me that prior to doing anything, I was picking up a penny I found on the field. Like, Damn, that must be good luck or something. Yes, yeah, so hopefully it was heads up. Yeah, it was heads up. Uh, no matter, it's always heads up, right? And, uh, you know, at any rate, uh, just trying to get loose and, and just... You know, the, nobody likes stretch. Nobody likes to get warmed up, but just trying to, you know, talk to some of the guys, get in some of their ears, and, and uh, you know, get them ready to go. But one thing we value highly here is the choice of attitude, and, and uh, I'm very proud of the way that our guys approach, you know, not only what we do here on the field, but more importantly, the, what the decisions they make socially and, and the, the unbelievable job that they're doing academically. 
I know you're. I know you're dying to get back out there. So you we're got gonna. Anything else? Earth shattering? Ask me. Uh, oh, nothing. We'll, we'll get you later. Are you sure? All right. Can I get, that's a very. What do you, uh, very, what do you uh, think? What do you think about? <laughs> what do you think about it? What do you think about his style? I, well, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, but that was the way he was when he was a player. He always looked good, and I think that looked good always led to why he played played good, right? So look good, play good. But uh, you know, proud of guys like, like this guy. I mean, you think about the adversity he's overcome in, in his playing career. You know, he's a he's humble guy, but uh, you know, to see the success he's having. We've got our, some of our mentors here. Um, you know, it's just you know, it's almost like being a father. You're just so proud of what these guys become, and it's because we, they be, they come from great families. But uh, hopefully, we put some ice on the cake. But uh, yeah, he's a darn good looking guy, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he is. Look at this guy you're talking to. So. Uh, hey, we'll let you get back out there. Thanks for the time, as always. Thanks, guys. Go Cats. Pat Fitzgerald, head football coach of the Wildcats. And he's going to go back out there and loosen up and 